thought I'd done the right thing. It was like a fairy tale. Well, it was a fairy tale. But things don't always work out. Seems there's not always a happy ending. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> I've tried talking to him, Buttons. He's just not the man I thought I married. I confronted him last night. I told him my life lacked sparkle and excitement. And? Take a look in there. A bottle of Tizer and die hard. Oh, <laughs> love. Sweet heart. Light of my life. I found this magazine under his mattress last week. I've lost my man to a bedding plant. Look, Cinders, when I get my part on Baywatch, everything's going to be fine. Well, Arthur sought me out an audition tomorrow, and this time I know it's going to work out. I'll be rich. I'll be a star. And I'll sort your problems out. Oh, Buttons, I know how much a part in Baywatch means to you. Nothing. 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 <laughs> I've been wandering stark naked around the Palace Gardens for weeks now and haven't printed a single picture yet. Maybe the paparazzi haven't noticed you. <sighs> I took the pictures. <laughs> anyway, they say she doesn't warrant a double page spread. Huh. Which is what she'd need. <laughs> Are you still trying to get into Baywatch? What was the part again? Deck chair attendant. Frump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Should have listened to me. I told you that a narrow shoe fitting wasn't the basis for a sound marriage. I wish you wouldn't be so horrible. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, I do not despair. I am your fairy godmother, Nadine. <laughs> Nadine? You're not the fairy godmother. No, nah, she's been shut down by the Monopolies Commission. They've opened the market up. Cinders, she can grant your wishes, save your marriage. Nadine, give her three wishes. Oh, no, 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 no. Only one wish, I'm afraid. See, I'm still only a YTS trainee. Right, which one of you is Cinders? Me. Her. <laughs> what do you wish then, Cinders? <coughs> oh, sorry. Is it lingering? I wish that. Oh, no. Look at me. I'll never get on Baywatch now. Not with a black eye. Well, Cinders, you've got to help me. Well, it's your wish, mate. What do you want to do? Get buttons on Baywatch or save your marriage. The choice is yours. In part one, we left Cinders in a terrible quandary. Granted only a single wish by a smelly whitey ass fairy godmother, Nadine, should she use it to lure the prince out of his rosebed and back into hers? Or give it to her best friend, Buttons, desperate to have a go at something juicy in Baywatch? Two big concerns, just one wish. Will Cinders do the right thing? I hereby give over my wish to... Buttons. Signed, Cinders. Oh, Cinders, this means everything to me. Baywatch, here I come. <laughs> Dear Buttons, it was always his ambition. Yes. Naked ambition by the looks of it. Hey, give me, give me. Might be some money in one of the pockets. Mm. Yeah, this pumpkin chutney's good, isn't it? You can take a few jars with you when you go. You've been here for months and Button still hasn't been on Baywatch. No, I have. Look, I think that's Buttons on the telly now. Before our first reconstruction tonight, an urgent appeal... It's not Buttons, that's criminal. Sue Cook. No. We understand he's using yeah. the name Buttons. <laughs> no account to be approached. Buttons is a compulsive exhibitionist and possibly dangerous. He was last seen wearing baggy Bermuda shorts and a bellboy's hat. I don't believe it. You've right got him on Crime Watch, not Baywatch. Right My only right wish was wasted. Don't number. despair. I'm due one more wish this week. I'll just go and get me wand reloaded. Hi there. Hi 
with a Annika Rice, of course, uh, challenge. Sent this in. Expect you know what it's all about. Yeah, I think so. Right then. Tell us about it. Well, <laughs> um, well, my husband and I, we, we, we haven't been getting on really too well lately, and uh, my, my best friend Buttons has just been arrested, and well, I was sort of wondering if we could start over again. Doesn't Please? seem to be what's done in this oh! letter. Oh! Annika! No, Annika, brilliant you're here! <laughs> <laughs> Ugly sisters by any chance? That's right. Yes, yes. I thought so. It's a lovely letter. Tragic story. That's right. You need an operation, mm. suffering from a terrible hereditary condition. That's right. Yes. And uh, waiting list at the NHS. Mm. And what you do? Nothing. You were looking at my bottom. No, I was just seeing how your radio mic connected. Can you stop doing that? Yes. Hereditary condition. Yes. What? Yes. Look, we suffer from an ghastly hereditary condition that our dear half-sister, oh lucky, she does not suffer from. Can you tell us what it is? Overdeveloped gluteus maximus. Mm. I don't believe you want plastic surgery on these. Mm. You've brought us all the way here to sort out your cellulite. Dave. Dave, this is not on. We'll never get half an hour's telly out of their chunky rumps. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Like a nice edition of Farming Weekly. I think this could be our challenge, Dave. She says her marriage is on the rocks. Oh, the please, Cinders. You've always been pretty... ish. You don't know the pain, the emotional scars, the sellotape. <laughs> really, we would be much, much nicer people without these. You see? It really is up to you, Cinders. You can either save your marriage or save their art. Their bottoms. <laughs> the choice is yours. In part two, Cinders gave her one and only wish to Buttons. But now he's displaying his talents, appearing starkers on Crime Watch, not Baywatch. And then along came Annika. Should she save the royal marriage or accept the ugly sister's cheeky challenge to remedy their wobbly bots? Two big problems, only one challenge. Will Cinders do the right thing? I'm going to keep the wish for myself. I'm going to challenge Annika. But Cinders! Shut it! I'm sick of you two. You don't need a wish, you need a diet. That's not an hereditary hey. condition. That's ten pints of lager and a chicken biryani twice a week. Shut up! You're making me hungry. <laughs> Have it with being nice. Yes. Give me back the man I married. I want my real husband right. back. We'll see just what we can do. Just hang on a moment. Oi! Bob! No! No! Come on, it's garden's wool! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've got my new wand. Look at that, new lightweight self-loading. It's magic, isn't it? Right then, sort that out. Oh no, there ain't enough in here for the two of them. Well, I'll have it. I'll have it. No, it's hers. Mine? Give it to me! Give it to me! No! No! Give it to me! I <laughs> want <laughs> oh, no, 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 just come on! <laughs> I've had marriage guidance counselling from Richard and Judy, a makeover from Jeff Banks, haircut by Nicky Clark, and a turn up with Mr. Motivator. Darling, I'm a changed man. I warn you, I'm not afraid to use this, you old toad. <laughs> oh, God, me wand's gone off. With it. The prince. My prince, he's gone again. Oh, not surprised. It's like supermarket sweeping here. A toad. You've turned the prince into a toad. That's marvellous. You should be in grade seven to do that. Well, at least he's horny now. <laughs> What have I done? My prince is condemned to a pitiful existence, swimming through the scum, flapping around in the dirt with the other pond life. Maybe you can get a job on the sun, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I won't put up a fight. I deserve to go to prison. Bones! This is it. They've got the palace surrounded. I'm going down for a decent exposure. But where did you go? Don't ask. I've been streaking for weeks thanks to your wish. FG, you've got to help me out. Cinders, this last wish has got your name on it. What do you want to do? 
Do you want to turn the fruit back into a prince, or do you want to save Batons here from prison? The choice is yours. I've made my decision. I'm sorry, darling. Save Buttons from going to prison. Happy Doke. <laughs> oh, Cinders, thank you, thank you. How can I ever thank you enough? Well, you could take my husband for a swim every so often. <laughs> I'm not cut out for Baywatch. I realise that now. I'm going to stay here with you, Cinders, and look after you. Now, where's the prince? <laughs> yeah, I see the fairy godmother sorted the sisters out after all. <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Speed, it's there, speed. That's it, you're doing well. <laughs> hey, there he is. Oh. You know, he always wanted to get closer to nature. Back to basics. Maybe he'll be happier if he runs down the evolutionary ladder. Oh, look, he's just eaten a worm. <laughs> Oh, now I remember. There I was, minding my own algae. When some bird comes up, drags me out the pond and kisses me. Bang! I turn into a pinch. Terrible. Leave me tight to the wrong size. Anyway, I gave her the slip. With it. I've changed my mind. I'm sorry, Buttons. Please turn the toad back into my prince. Oh. oh. Here, hang on a minute. That ain't your husband. Oh, shut it. Oh. Hello, darling. You look so, uh, well. Hello. I dreamt I was eating an earthworm. Awful. <laughs> darling, um, Buttons is the helpless victim of police prejudice and brutality, and it's all my fault. Can you help him out? Yeah, of course. <clears throat> all right, listen, back off immediately. I don't want to see any evidence of police presence anywhere. Thank you. Everything's going to be fine. There you are. Sorry, everyone. 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 Looks like my boys arrested the real culprits. No, Gav, you don't Shut understand. It. We're making a citizen's arrest. He's coming with us. Yes. Come along. No, Gav. Charges to press against you, young man. Come on, Gav. Get my free wishes now, then. <laughs> 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 <laughs>